from so square one this has been a very smooth fast easy fun on free flying sheet they've been great to work with right down the line I mean, they all love this project and it's refreshing There's a very loose feel instead. Everyone seems pretty free to, to play around and, you know, have fun with their performances. The bonds are real. I don't know if these guys are, have been friends forever or what the deal is, but they sure seem like it. I have had a lot of fun with working with Ryan because Ryan, every day right. on set, he's Ryan. He's always, he has a great time. He's always singing, he's always dancing, and he's always cheerleading. That's true. He cheerleads That's a lot. not true. Damn. No, George is on top of him. We're focusing. Yeah. He brings oh, up the energy. Trev, in the I'm not going to give you compliments right now. That's what you're fishing Hold on. for. I mean, Ryan is really a natural at comedy. But those two guys uh, actually read for us one day together, and they spent a little bit of time outside kind of preparing some of their own thoughts, and it was just kind of magic. Uh, I come from a school of, of, uh, of filmmaking and, and of, of comedy thinking where um, you base it in reality. So the movie itself, I mean, we've got lots of uh, raunchy gags and some silly stuff in this movie, but the movie has a, it's, it, it, it has a heart and it has a brain. There is a scene where Stacy bursts out crying because she has killed a man because of her ridiculously amazing lap dance technique. And it was a tough day. It was a really tough day. Greg said it was so organic and real. and it <laughs> <clears throat> this project I've always felt uh, kind of an aura of good karma about. It was a long, tough journey just to get it to the point of being made, but uh, we got it here. And uh, the final piece of the puzzle came when I made contact with uh, Spence Jackson. This is my first film project ever. All of my, my background is in the tech industry, so it was uh, sort of an interesting process for me, getting familiar with reading a script. But I enjoyed it and I sort of envisioned a picture in my mind of what it would look like with certain actors and it just seemed to work. And I, it's always nice to help out somebody that really wants to make a film and has worked on it for a couple of years. It's a good feeling. I go have a studio, uh, watch an overview and, and dictating what's uh, acceptable what's not. It's not a safe story, you know, it's, it's kind of Hardcore. I, I just like it because it's all real. There isn't a false beat in it to me. And uh, it has a really good chance of being a movie like uh, American Graffiti or one of those sweet little movies. It's just a slice of American life that I grew up with and relate to completely. I think honestly what the world needs right now is is comedy. They need laughter. I think that that's why more comedies are going into production now than dramas are um, because people want to be entertained. They want a distraction. They want to live in fantasy for a moment. I hope when people see Last Call, they will go to their local Irish pub and drink with their friends.